Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Good morning to you everybody and happy 4th of July. We have some good news in the forecast for today. I do think that most of the day will actually end up rain free despite the fact that we do have a fair amount of shower activity out there right now. And as we take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12, we're scanning the skies. You can see the live radar sweep and most of the area is seeing at least some light to moderate rain right now. Now some heavier downpours have been mixed in at times. They're fairly isolated. You can see the speck of yellow just offshore from a Newport and a few more down pours just offshore from Horseneck Beach in the Westport, Massachusetts area. We could take you a little bit closer and you can see most of these showers actually staying out over the water with the lighter rain out towards land. But this will be the story for the next, uh, say, hour, maybe hour and a half until that back edge of precipitation starts to move in. You can actually see the precipitation wrapping up ar around central Connecticut into Massachusetts. We'll tap into some of that drier air later on this morning. In terms of precipitation chances, you can see it's kind of like a roller coaster where right now is the best chance of rain for today, at least steady rain. We really drop that chance by the time we get to 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. From noon to around 2, 3 o'clock, there's still a chance of some showers and thunderstorms, but it's fairly low. I think much of the afternoon is actually rain-free with some hazy sunshine. We increase that chance slightly towards 4 or 5 o'clock as the sunshine starts to fuel some of the uh, air warming things up. In fact, the more sunshine we get, the better the chance of a quick afternoon strong storm will uh, be. And then as we go into 8 o'clock, 20% for the chances of shower and storms, 9 o'clock, maybe 20 to 15 percent. So yes, there could be a few showers and lingering storms for firework time, but I think most of those celebrations should be okay. In Providence, we have some fog out there. Temperature is 71, dew point at 69. Winds out of the south at 3 miles an hour. Definitely more humid than it was at this time yesterday morning, and it will be a stickier day compared to what we had yesterday. All right, there is the back edge of precipitation. You can see sections of northern and northwestern Rhode Island will see the precipitation start to come to an end, at least the steadier stuff within the next hour. The rest of us may uh, see that move through in about an hour and a half or so. And then after that, some sunshine. Now the sunshine may take a little while longer to move through, probably by late morning and early afternoon. We may not see completely blue skies, but some partly cloudy, hazy skies, I think, in the works later on today. 86 your high temperature on the east side. 85 Rumford, North Providence gets up to 86 degrees. A little further down to the south from Cranston to Warwick, temperatures in the mid-80s. A warm and muggy afternoon. 85 in Riverside, Barrington to 85 and over in Bristol for the parade. By the time we get into the noon hour, temperatures approaching the 80 degree mark with some sunshine starting to break out. South shore temperatures, upper 70s to low 80s. Winds will be coming out of the south and southwest for a good part of the day. That's why coastal temperatures a little bit cooler than the rest of us will be. Northern Rhode Island temperatures in the mid 80s. Cumberland 84, Johnston 85, and Situate at 85 degrees with those winds out of the west and southwest at around 5 to 10. Keep in mind, if you do get under one of these stronger thunderstorms by late afternoon, we could see some much stronger wind gusts than that. Taking a look at uh, New Bedford's temperature, 81 for a high, Little Compton 78, and Middletown gets up to 78 degrees. Out on the beach, a rough start this morning with some showers in the fog. By the time we get into the afternoon, some hazy sunshine, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but certainly the stickiness in the air will make you feel like you want to jump right into the water. And out on the water, visibility not good this morning. It will also drop in any developing thunderstorm throughout the afternoon. High tide on the way at 847, low tide 216 this afternoon. So about a 20% chance of a shower or thunderstorm for the fireworks tonight, but of course that means if we do the complex math, there is an 80% chance that we will not see the thunderstorms for fireworks. Seven day future cast shows warm stuff on the way. Friday 87, Saturday 90 and quite humid. Could see a shower or a thunderstorm on Saturday night. I'll have more weather updates coming up in just a few minutes. Okay, Emmett. <laughs> Wrong.